Hello fellow YouTubers, thanks for taking a look at my video today. Today I want to go over uh, an image I saw. Well actually there's two images, but I was thinking about making two videos. But eh, we'll see how this goes. I think I'll just do one video for this one and then another video for the other one. But uh, I was browsing around through some NASA images of the uh, Mars Curiosity rover and I found something that looked like a fossil. Now, fossil hunting is something I do as a hobby uh, when I have spare time. That's one of my many hobbies, but um, one of the things I uh, kind of use is I have a fossil chart here. Uh, mine's in a book, though, but I found one on the internet, and it kind of gives you an idea of what you're looking for when you're looking for fossils the kind of shapes. I have a little bit about of every one of these, um, including the C-shaped one here. And that is what I think I first found on Mars was a C-shaped fossil. It has basically all the characteristics of a fossil, uh, mainly because rocks don't form into C's, like the letter C-shape, you know, uh, via the mechanism of nature and such like that. So let's take a closer look. I have this one image here and, and I have like four things on here. The first one is basically what I feel is a fossil. These other th three, um, I'll go over them with you here. But let's zoom in here. Looking through these images is meticulous. Now what does that look like to you right now? looking like I know all you guys that uh, are into the moon hoax and all that with the rock with the letter C on the moon rock well here's a Mars rock with the letter C on it as well and if you keep zooming in you can clearly see the C shape to me that is uh, a fossil I mean that is a fossil of either some kind of shelled creature or some kind of worm-like creature. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you, your guys' thoughts on it are and, uh, you know, leave your comments below. Uh, there's some other things I had on here. I'm not going to show this one down here. I don't really think that's anything. Um, <clears throat> I found this one over here a little fascinating, though. Let me zoom in on it. I'll give you a little while to look at it and see if you can see uh, what I am uh, kind of showing you here. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it. To me, it looks like some sort of mask or something. What really brought my attention to it was the curvature like right around here and then you see that same symmetrical curvature over here as well you know it kind of looks reminds me of like the brow on an animal to me the face kind of looks like a cow face it's kind of weird uh, but you have this symmetrical shape going like this let me see if I uh if I were to um, trace it for you, if you'll see it better, maybe you're not seeing it the way you're looking at it. Um, you have this. See how it curves like that? And then you go over here. And then it does that same like curve again. And then the face just comes like this. So I thought that was pretty interesting. You don't see many rocks that uh, are symmetrical in shape due to erosion over you know millions of years. And right here you can kind of see like the eye socket on there, and then there's like a little eye socket right here. So and then I don't know how the clarity is going to show uh, on the video because I'm using a really crappy uh, video recorder. But you, there is actually a hole here and a hole here as well. Um, kind of reminds me of 
of like a an alligator face too when you put the red around it but let's get rid of that stuff there get rid of the uh, the red that I put around it and let's go up to the color contrast I want to go up to the curves and make it brighter if I make it brighter then you can see the curve see how that curve and it's like you have like an ear here almost as well so I thought that was kind of interesting as well and then on another note there were some other things I saw that were pretty uh, not that not crazy or anything like that but I noticed it on the rover itself and I'm sure NASA already knows about it but if you go over here to its tire it's one wheel you can see it sustained some damage already so it looks like all these treads are individually locked so I don't know what's gonna happen once this whole because it's apparently it's obviously gonna get bigger as it goes along so we might lose the wheel on this rover you know in the next several years but it did sustain some damage definitely it has a hole right there and it's got like a little cut hole right here as well but it's a small one so well anyways I uh, I'm glad you guys watched my video I mean here are some other examples of of uh, fossils that formed in rocks and such you know this one's probably the most similar but this is actually a fossil too um, here's another one the C shape again so I thought I'd show that to you guys and uh, you can leave your thoughts and opinions on it below thanks for watching my channel please subscribe and when I get more time I'll be posting more videos alright guys have a good day bye